Right, so it's been a while since I've made a video. Um, today's video is not going to be on Solidity, but it is going to be blockchain decentralization related. We're actually going to be looking at how to connect a HBAR wallet, such as a Hashpack. Well, actually, at the moment, it can only only be done with Hashpack. Uh, but this is this is definitely the best HBAR wallet I've I've come across, um, and we're going to be connecting it to a React Next app using hash connect which is a um api built by the hash by the hash pack team um so yeah i had some troubles doing it um had some troubles doing it it was quite quite tedious you know you know how it is just try a trial and error and i've got there so i'm going to share how you do it over here so let's get straight into it um i've got a new folder over here we're just going to initialize it by doing mpx create dash next app. So this, of course, um, it just gives you a template of a, of a next app. So just proceed. If I do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. So now that is all up and running, as you can see, we've got all of our, our pages folder with the index. We can just start that off by going yarn dev and it will come up in this server here. So if we go to there, this would just be, like I said, the default um, next boilerplate stuff, create next app. So we're going to get rid of all of this first. I don't, I don't, I don't want any of that. Um, and yep yeah, so all we're going to have for now is we're just going to okay let's say so we'll do mm, hash connect tutorial and there's going to be a button which will be the connect button and it's going to have our function which we haven't defined quite yet so for now we're just going to say um hello and the button will be a connect to wallet button <clears throat> so we don't need any of these uh don't need any of the styles but they're not being imported right now so that doesn't matter so right now if we look at the our page again it's just going to be this basic stuff here and if we look into the console and we click this button it will cause print hello so that's not what the main functionality is we of course want it to connect to this hashpack wallet so to do that we're going to have to firstly import the hash connect package so we use that using npm npm install and you just need to install hash connect And while we're waiting for that to load, we'll just create a new folder called out there, new folder called helpers. And in here, we'll create our file hashconnect.js. It's a fairly big package. It also has to import other packages such as the hashgraph SDK. So we'll wait for that to be done. After this video as well, by the way, I'm gonna gonna release a video on how to send transactions and sign it using your hash uh, using the hash pack and hash connect wallet as all as well. Right. So now that that is installed, we can import it. So we go import, and we want to import the hash connect. Is it like that? Yeah, hash connect from the hash graph. SDK from the hash connect SDK. Now we can start making our function so we can go const um, connect to wallet. I'm going to take any arguments in. Oops. And so the first thing that we need to do is we need to initialize kind of this hash connect class. So we'll say let hash connect equal new hash connect. And this will give it all of the um, properties and methods within. <clears throat> this hash connect class over here. Uh, next up, we need to create the app metadata. Um, but before we do that, what we'll do, yeah, so let's go. This is a 
this is this is given in the documents. I'll give a link to the documents below. But essentially, what it needs to be is it's an object, and it needs to have a name, which will be the name of your project. So, hash connect demo. Uh, it also needs to take a description. So we'll say a demo for hash connect. And finally, it's going to take in an icon, uh, which is just an image. Now, I'm just going to copy and paste a random image from Google, which I already have. Like so. Okay, cool. So that is our app data, our app metadata sorted out. Um, then what we need to do is initialize it. Let's say let init data equal await hash connect dot connect uh, dot init. That's going to take the app data as an argument. Then we need to get the private key from that. So this produces a private key. Now it's not the private key of the wallet. It's a separate private key. So we'll say let private key equal init data dot priv key cool so if you want to you can console log that out but it's not actually that important okay so next up so now we've got the private key uh now we just need to kind of connect so we need to connect to hash connect so we'll say let state equal hash connect dot connect and then from this, we can then get a topic. Now, the topic in the private key is what's used to connect to the to the wallet. And there's also a string as well, which needs to needs to be saved. So we'll say let topic equal state dot topic. And that should be asynchronous. Also, that reminds me, all of this is asynchronous. So this needs to be an asynchronous function, I should have done that at the beginning. So we've got the state topic now, and we have the private key. So now we can create a pairing string. Pairing string equals hash connect dot generate pairing string. And within this, we're gonna put in the state. We're gonna say whether it's testnet or, um, or mainnet. For right now, we're just doing testnet. And this third argument, what's the third argument? I don't know what the third argument is but false we put in um i think for most most conditions you want to put in false so that's done that now we can finally we've got everything that we need so we can call this function called the find local wallets function now this here sends out a kind of a ping on your browser you need to be on an https server and we'll go through how to do that after this but it just kind of sends out a ping if it finds the chrome app it will lock onto that and sequentially to that we'll go hash connect connect to wallet data connect to local wallet and the argument in here is going to be the pairing string this just saves the user from actually typing in the pairing string themselves so this is essentially all we need to do is it's actually quite straightforward we'll export this export that as the default function we can then import it over here import and what's it going to be called it's called connect to wallet so rather than console logging that we can now just call the connect to wallet function um right so let's just double check over everything so yeah, that should be that should be good to good to run. It's not going to work right now. There's still a few things that we need to tweak and, and add. Um, but let's just have a look what happens. So if we get our dev server back up. Right, so what does it say? Local webpack not found. Oh. Refresh it. So what's happened? Yeah, okay. So we've got this syntax error, unexpected token, unexpected token export. Now this is happening in the um 
so yeah so this is happening in the hash connect uh library itself so if i show you if we go into the hash connect library so as you can see we're now in the in the main js uh sub file in the hash connect node modules directory um, and as you can see, this here is written in ES6 syntax. It's not written with uh, module.export syntax. It's using export, bloom, from blah, 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 from the files within it. And essentially, when Next comes to compile your whole code, it doesn't, it's not able to transpile ES6, which is in the node modules. Next is only designed to transpile E6 syntax, which is in the pages module. So that's why when you're creating your components and, and that type of stuff, it will transpile it with no, with no error. It will never say there's a export error, um, whatever. So we need to install another package called Next Transpile Modules. And using that, we can then tell Next, okay, transpile modules within this folder which have ES6 and we'll be able to get around the whole thing. So if we go npm install next dash transpile dash modules, I'm not sure if you need to do this for React, I could potentially be the same, but with next, you must do this. So there we go, we've imported it now. Now we go into our next config file and we just, um, we need to kind of set the conditions. So const with tm equals, first you want to require the module, the next transpile modules. And then we want to let it know which module specifically what we want to transpile. So that's going to take in an array because of course you can have many different, uh, many different modules. Uh, and we're just going to do the hash connect one. And then finally module.exports with tm with the empty object as the uh, as the function and th this will sort it all out so if we go back onto yarn dev and get the server running up what's happened there uh fail to load next config module exports is not a function uh -huh. equals that's bad syntax okay should be able to run it now yep go on to our server again so as you can see that we don't have that error popping up anymore now if we go to the console and have a look what happens not still nothing is going to happen so we are getting the private key and the the code is executing but it's not popping up with our hash pack wallet and that's because we're in an http server we're not in an HTTPS server. So the way that we can get around that is by using this great bit of kit called, uh, called ngrok. So you just need to download this. So go into the ngrok website, download it. And as you can see here, as it just basically forwards what goes onto your local host and puts it onto the web in an HTTPS server. Uh, so I'll show you how to do that. This is the ngrok.exe file. And we just need to run HTTP, no, ngrok http now we're forwarding it to we're getting it from the port 3000 so we just need to write in 3000 and look it just does it itself we're going to follow this link here which has got the https go on to that copy and paste it going to say that it's a dangerous website oh no it doesn't okay oh, interesting brilliant right and now click on connect to wallet boom pops up so we need to now enter in our, uh, oh, now we need to just enter in our password. I'm going to put mine in. And it's going to ask us which hash connect. Um, there we go. So this is the hash connect demo that there's our name and other things kind of get sent to it. That's all part of the app metadata. Um, we can choose which wallet we want to connect. I put that we are connecting to the test net. So it's only giving me my test wallets. If you put mainnet, it will only give you a main mainnet uh, wallets. But we approve it, and now it's connected. Now, now, now we are connected, um, and we can use hash connector following. So after this, send transactions, sign transactions, and all this really, really great functionality. <clears throat> 
so I hope you found that um, I hope you found that found that useful. I'm going to close that now. I hope you found that useful. Um, it's definitely definitely an important thing to be able to do to be able to integrate a wallet, just like MetaMask has done for Ethereum, Hash Connect and Hash Pack. This here might make it uh, the best the best solution. So it's definitely the best solution I've come across in terms of connecting your Hash Hash Connect wallet into into your website. And following this, yeah, you can then sign transactions, you can receive things, and it's all done safely. It's all done without the user having to type in or copy and paste the codes. So that there will be very, very important. Um, but like I said, hope you enjoyed that. And yeah, next video will be on how to, how to send transactions. All right, have a good day.